Hi everybody, welcome back to Lovely Girly Bids. As you know, I am a fan of a bit of luxury when it comes to beauty, but I do love an L bargain, an L budget beauty gem. I don't know. I think a while back I did a 10 under 10 video and I wanted to do another one. So then I was looking through my stuff, I felt that some products were like 10.99 or 11.49 or 12.99, really, really annoying. So, today's video is 15 under 15, but you knew that from the title of the video. So here are 15 things that I love that are under 15 euro. So technically, like you could buy like a lot of them and like not spend that much money. <laughs> It'll come as no surprise to you that I'm gonna talk about the Catrice Glam and Doll False Lashes Mascara cause I love it and I swear to God, this is one of my all time favorite mascaras ever, ever. And I know I talk about this all the time and if I could put it in every favorites video, I would. This has one of those ones that's like curved on the top flat on the bottom and it gives me curl length definition volume separation in El Moulin is easily built up as well because for a day look like if I'm going to work and if I don't have like eye makeup on I will put one coat on and go about my life happy out if I'm going out at night two sometimes even three and even when you apply two or three you don't get spidery clumpy lashes it just gives you really nice lashes this is brilliant and it's 450 on the front. Next up is the C&D Vine Luxe Top Coat. You can get it on dolledup.ie and it's brilliant. I use this pretty much as my top coat for everything. Now I do have the C&D Polishes here which are fabulous as well. They're 11 out of 5 each. I can't remember how much these are I put across here. But this top coat is it says you can get 7 days out of it. And as somebody who's very hard on their nails, I get a good 5 days out of this before it starts to chip. It depends if I'm like messing about at work or doing gardening or something like that. Then it doesn't last that long. But for somebody who generally only gets like two days out of polishes before it starts to chip. This has been a godsend. Joanne recently got a manicure with one of the CND um, polishes and this top coat and I think she was into her third week. No chips, just tip around the top. Now it's not as quick drying as Sesh Feet because like that is like the mother of all quick drying top coats but that comes off in like one um, piece which is very satisfying. As I said, I've been using this with the CND polishes themselves but I've also been using it with all of my other polishes that are in there. Ooh, I got all of them, even the cheap ones. This is one for the dry lipped people out there. Oh lads, I've spoken about this before, my favourite. I've probably spoken about everything, but sure, listen. This is the Blistex Intensive Moisturiser, and it's a moisturising cream for your lips. So what I like to do is, because it's white, it's a cream, I apply it as a really thick layer before I go to bed at night, and then I wake up with a juicy, hydrated, moisturised lips, and it's brilliant. If you were to use this during the day, you'd have to put on like a really thin coat and pat it in, but as an overnight treatment, it is the business. There aren't a huge amount of budget blushes that I'd really rave about and talk about all the time and recommend except for these. These are the Max Factor Cream Puff blushes and they're fantastic. I think they're only six shades. I wish that they would bring out a coral one because there is one that looks coral in the pan but when you put it onto your hand or onto your cheek it looks pink. I like coral or like I like nudes as well. This one is Lavish Mauve and Nude Mauve. I have a blog post on these showing you the photos on the skin. When you apply these to your cheeks, they give like the most gorgeous radiance and life to your visage. So even if you feel like crap, put this on and you will look lovely and you'll feel lovely about yourself. One of my most frequently asked questions on Snapchat is, what foundation would you recommend? Lads, this foundation is the business. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte foundation. Now I do use the other one as well, but that has to be set with powder. If you're looking for something that is long lasting, that stays put, that gives a medium coverage or so, that doesn't have to be touched up at all. I know that that's like three different ways that I've said that it stays put all day, <laughs> but I mean it. This is shade 11, vanilla, and I think this might be the lightest one, I think. If it is, pale people need to like look elsewhere or mix it in with like lightning drops or something. Um, but this is my dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear, like an affordable dupe. It is brilliant. Apply it with a beauty blender and you will get the most flawless, even coverage that doesn't look cakey, that doesn't look powdery. That's all. You know that this video was not going to happen without this. This is the Catrice High Glow Mineral Highlighting Powder. And this highlight is amazing. It is just gorgeous. Hold on, look. You probably can't see that. This highlight has been my go-to highlight for months now and it gives the most gorgeous soft focus glow on the cheekbones or wherever you... Now it says on the thing, hold on, I think I believe, hold on, let me see. This says sheer and buildable coverage for a subtle glow all over. Could you imagine me with this all over my face? You'd be able to see me half a mile down the road and if the sun was shining on me I would blind you. But it's gorgeous. If you haven't tried this please get it, please try it, it's 450, it's so worth, it's either 450 or 550, it's so worth it and it outperforms pretty much every other highlight I have in my stash. 
so like I can't even. This video was obviously going to include this. This is my Bourgeois Volume 1 Second Mascara in Ultra Black. It's the pewter one with the gold writing and the gold tip. And um, they do have the other versions as well, but this is my favourite because it just gives really dramatic, thick, elongated, swishy lashes and it's a brilliant. No, I should totally join the two of them together. Shouldn't I? I have this one on today because I was going for like loads of eye makeup. I've loved this for a long time. I know that I've waffled about this an awful lot, but it's so worth picking up. And I think I don't have to, when I hold things to my nose, you know that I'm deep in thought and that I love it. I think this is my favorite mascara ever, ever in life, followed very, very closely by this one. See, I'm all about like really thick lashes. I don't give myself a lot of time in the morning to put on eye makeup. So I need to have like really dramatic lashes to make me look wide awake and this does it. I have a blog post with before and after photos, give it a go. Now in terms of budget powders for the visage, this one is brilliant. It is the Bourjois Healthy Balance Unifying Powder. This is the shade 52 Vanilla and it is so finely milled. It gives like a little bit of coverage, not a huge amount, but I usually mainly, but I usually mainly, but I mainly use it on my T-zone um, to kind of, to keep everything mattified. No matter how much I put on, it never looks cakey or chalky or heavy on the skin and you know, the packaging is great so if you need to bring it around in your handbag for touch-ups it's nice and small. Lovely. I must investigate more budget kind of setting mattifying face powders. Let me know in the comments below what ones you recommend because this one is very fantastic. In terms of makeup brushes, lads, Penny's brushes are brilliant. I use this one all the time. It's like the Kabuki brush. And I used it down my neck today. I use it to like buff in bronzer or contour into the face. This one Oh, they don't have like names. This is a nice contour brush or blush brush as well. You can apply it on your cheekbones like this. Use this one all the time. I think this is a powder, powder blush brush. But I use this for foundation and then for powder or for blush. They're brilliant. They're so cheap. I think they're under like the fiver each one of them. And they're great and they wash really well. Doesn't shed. And like if I was a real technique, I would be a bit scared of these to be honest with you. I wish they bring out more eyeshadow brushes because the only one that I have so far let me know if there are more is there's one it's like a double-ended one with a slanted brush like an angled brush on one end and then like a fluffy brush on the other but the fluffy isn't fluffy enough for blending like it's great for cream product or for applying um what's that stuff friend or not foundation concealer and yeah but i would like if they had more eyeshadow brushes but for face they are so good staying on with penny stuff really really quickly the liners the lip liners lads so good. I think they're my favourite budget lip liners ever. They're really nice and creamy, really pigmented and they're fantastic. This shade 06, it's a fabulous like dusty pinky nudie shade. There's a red one that I use whenever I use the red kind of uh, lip crayon from Penny's. Brilliant. I'm sure you've all used these before. If not, get one fifty out of your purse and go buy one. They're fab. I've actually blog post on some of my favourite Penny's lip products with like liners, the lip crayons and lip glosses. So go check it out. I'll leave it in the description box. One of my all-time favourite eye products from a budget brand. It's from, where are we go? Wait, number seven. And it's called Stay Perfect Smoothing Eyeshadow in the shade Bronze. Like, I've spoken about this so many times. I found it just having a wonder. I think I wanted to spend one of my number seven vouchers. And I saw this and I was like, this is brilliant. Got it home and it is true love. I think I used this in my previous video. Yeah, when I was getting ready to go out with one of the girls. And it's great for a look when you just want to have a wash of colour all over your eyelid. And just really easy daytime wear. And it's fantastic. What I'd recommend is do one eye, pat it in, blend the edges, and then do the other eye, pat it in, blend the edges. By the time you've finished that eye, this eye will be ready for a second coat if you want, and it's just lovely. I have to use the primer for every eyeshadow that I ever use. When I do, this stays put all day, and it's fab. Because they have it in other colours. I tried the purple one. Wasn't great. Bronze is the way to go. Okay, next up are these liners from Bourjois. They are the Contour Clubbing Waterproof liners yes i think i spoke about these in like one of the first couple of years i was blogging and they're so underrated they're so amazing this shade is called blue remix 45 and i have it on my waterline today and then just under the lower lash line do you like why i open my eyes really like strongly every summer i end up reaching for these for the waterline because i love wearing a bit of color on the eyes and um, especially with like a neutral eye or a bronzy eye and they're fab this one i have on the top lash line smudged in this one I do not have on. And then this one, yeah, it's on my waterline and underneath and they're just fabulous. They stay put all day. They stay put in the rain and the sweat and the heat and the humidity, which is very important. But if you want to add like a bit of colour to your look, then a waterproof eyeliner like this, really colourful, is fab for the summer. 45 Blue Remix. This one is 
47 purple night and this one is 57 up and brown which is a fab bronze shade when it comes to budget eyeshadow palettes sleek 9.99 you get about 11 million eyeshadows in there not really 12 12 i'd say i have a good eight or nine of these eyeshadow palettes from sleek that's not magnificent this one is au naturel Great. I like palettes like these for traveling because they're small, lightweight, but you still have like 11,000 colors in there, so you're sorted for your holidays. Um, this one, yeah, as I said, it's au natural and it has a nice, a nice mix of mattes and shimmers. This black one is lovely as well, really nice. Oh. One of my all time favorite budget highlights is from number seven. It's the number seven instant radiance highlighter, and it's one of them twisty uppy doodads. I know I've spoken about this before in previous um, favorite videos, but it's a cream highlighter in a little stick form, and you can use it to apply it onto the cheekbones, onto your wherever you want. Like you can color in your whole face if you want. I don't care, and it's lovely. So the Catrice one is a great powder highlight. If you're looking for a cream highlight, give this a whirl. Um, I love cream highlights as well because they look like skin. Do you know, it doesn't look like you're wearing powder or makeup. It's lovely, and this is a great one to spend your vouchers on as well. Okay, the last thing is this from Kiko. I know I've spoken about this so many times and I know that you can't buy it in Ireland and you just have to buy it online, but still. <laughs> this is the Lip Stylo in the shade 01 Mirage. I have 03 something else. I can't remember what it is. Um, but this shade is perfect. It's the perfect nude shade. I have it on today. I'll apply more because this is what I always do whenever I talk about it. It's limited edition for summer, so I don't know how long more it's going to be on the website for, but if you spend under 49 euro, the shipping is 590. And if you spend over 49 euro, shipping is free. Is very going to be very easy to spend 49 euro but you're going to get loads for it as well i bought two of these shades and then i bought a really gorgeous coral shade as well and yes there's more shades on the website than there were in the shop when i went in looking for it i have a blog post on these showing you um kind of closer swatches on the lips and everything but lads it's brilliant it's i just think it's a really perfect summer lip shade for me because i put on loads of eye makeup and i was like what shade of lipstick will i put on i was like this one it's one of those one shade fits all one shade does everything and packaging and it's magnetic. So those are 15 products under 15 euro. There's some great products out there. This is why I blog, this is why I do videos, is so that I can try lots of new products and tell you about them. Not because I'm a hoarder and spend a holly and on a constant spending band. No, I, I do it for you. So tell me in the comments, what products do you love that are under 15 euro that I need to try and put into a next video? You enable me, I've just helped you spend loads of money, you help me spend loads of money forget the spending ban. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next video. Okay, bye.